guys, welcome to the outro of Life After Her. I just wrapped up my last podcast episode of Life After Her, and I am honored and blessed that you guys took this journey with me and hearing about the story of Journey Black. So check out a couple of the highlights that I wanted to um, share with you all during my journey, which started in February of 2021. Check it out. Hey, y'all. Welcome to the Life After Her podcast with your girl, Nicole and Sweeney. Today's podcast is going to cover chapter one of Life After Her entitled Gate Night. That's where I'm stopping. This concludes our first podcast for tonight today, whatever time you're watching it. Now, I want you guys to remember, specifically the ladies, today's episode affirmation is never uh, never underestimate the power of your intuition. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Life After Her podcast with your girl, Nicole and Sweeney. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I am so excited about today's episode, episode number four, entitled The Black Family. But before we go into today's episode, I want to remind you guys that my book, Life After Hurt, is on my website. Grab your copy so you can follow along. You can purchase it at NicoleSweeney.org or you can purchase it on Amazon. So go grab your copy of Life After Her so that you can follow along. Now, if you have been keeping up with the podcast episodes, you would have found out that episode number three entitled Ghetto Hot Entanglement Mess ended very badly for Journey. Journey, unfortunately, went to jail, y'all. She went to jail for punching Case in his face. Y'all like how I did that wrong, right? So she ends up going to jail. She's behind bars. She ends up lying down on the whole, on that hard, cold metal bed, and she falls into a deep sleep. Yeah, she falls into a deep sleep. And while she is asleep, she is beginning to dream about her life and everything that happened to her from her childhood all the way up until, yeah, I can't tell y'all to rush. I got to grab a copy of the book. So today's episode, number four, entitled The Black Family, I have some special guests that are joining me today, and I'm so excited. It is none other than my lovely sisters who are going to be joining me on today's podcast episode. So without further ado, I am going to bring them one by one in birth order so that we can just talk and chill and talk about some things we experienced growing up. So I would like to first introduce my big sister, Shakira, a.k.a. Shrimp. Hey, Shrimp. Hey, Journey. <laughs> Next, we are introducing, oh, y'all pray for my family, the wonderful Alicia, a.k.a. Audacious. Say hello to the people, Audacious. And last but not least, the baby girl of the family, Jessica, a.k.a. Joy. Hey, Joy. So, before we get started, we are going to be talking talking about chapter four. And within chapter four, first, before I go into chapter four, let's see which one of my sisters finished the book. All right, which one of y'all finished the book and who did not? Who's going to get the Sister of the Year Award? <laughs> I finished it. <laughs> oh, I finished it. 
Okay, Audacious finished the book. Uh, Joy, did you finish the book? Yes, okay. I did. Okay, Joy finished the book. <clears throat> uh, Strin, did you find a strength to finish your book? I am still using my strength to finish the last chapter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we going we going to give Strength a pass. Have to do that, sis. <laughs> How long has the book been out? <laughs> Jessica, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to I'm trying to understand. Is, Jessica is not using her joy for man. Excuse me, it's joy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we we going we going to keep it light for now. Now, y'all, if you are a parent or an adult that is always around kids, you know when it gets quiet in the bedroom. That means something is up. So there was a scene in chapter four where Maven, which is Marquise, our brother, and Strin, they went out the window down the fire escape to grab, what was it, Shakira? I mean, Strin, what was it? Was it a nickel or a quarter? I'm sorry, I don't recall that too. <laughs> okay, y'all, she played it then. <laughs> She completed the film all she wanted. I, I apologize. I don't. But the, the one bedroom apartment we lived in, the bedroom had a fire escape to connect it to it. And so on this particular day, well, most days, right, we always were in the bedroom playing with Barbie dolls. And my parents were in like the living room listening to music with the Van Dross. My Papa Black loved with the Van Dross. Mama Black loved whispers. So we were in the room. I don't know what or why Nathan and Shrimp decided to, um, yeah, go down the fire escape, but they did. What? So, oh, you don't remember that? She got selective memory, y'all. So, <laughs> oh golly, I don't. <laughs> so she, she, who went, who went first? Maven or you? Well, either one of them. Somebody, <laughs> so somebody went first. Talking. They went down. They came back up, and they told me not to say nothing. Joy, Strength, and Gracie were playing elsewhere. I don't think they were paying attention, but I knew what was going on. My Mama Black busts in the room and says, what are y'all doing? Y'all too quiet in here. And the rest goes down the drain, y'all. I blurred out what they did, and <laughs> Mama Black went off. Maven and Shrimp got in so much trouble. I but, didn't get in any trouble because I wasn't a part of the ordeal. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, apparently she, that was, I don't know, maybe it was another sibling that we had. I but, boy, she <laughs> he lying. But that was definitely a fond memory growing up. So here we go. Today's episode, like I mentioned, is entitled Papa Black Injury. And guess what? I have Papa Black with us. So Papa Black himself will be joining us for today's podcast. Join me in welcoming Papa Black. Come on, Papa Black. <laughs> Guys, you see this? <laughs> Good evening, y'all. All right, so Papa Black. Now, I heard that your third, if you deliver your third child, they are your favorite child. Is that correct? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's a joke, guys. So Papa Black, my sisters are gonna get me. Papa Black delivered me. Black's best friend, Wes, who has joined us on today's bonus 
podcast episode. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. Now, West and Papa Black, how long have you guys been best friends? Uh, about what, 40 years? Yeah. 40 years. We both, um, <clears throat> he's 64, I'm 63. Okay. We were friends since we were about 14. Wow. 14. Wow, so that's that's almost close to 50 years of friendship. Yes. That's a long time to be friends. Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead, Papa. Yeah, Thanks, Kathy. She's coming in. All right, so what yeah. advice would you give to the listeners? And I'll go west first. What for advice? What, what, for being friends? For friendship, for life, for anything. Well, so don't take anything for granted. Mm. That's, that's my, I'll yeah. sum it up with that. Yeah. Don't take anything for granted. Yeah. Uh, so what's your, what's your advice to the listeners? All right, listeners, listen. Um, God is good. Life is good. Uh, I love my family and friends. Uh, I'll continue on being the man that I am and even better because we all have shortcomings. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, you know, you stand in that road and you stand for a second, and I just go and like, mm-hmm. nope, it ain't happening. I came from better than this. Yeah. I'm a man. I'm a father. Mm-hmm. I'm a grandfather. I'm a friend. I am God's child. Mm-hmm. And just be still sometimes. You, know, you have to be still. Just be still. Mm-hmm. I know it can be frustration, especially at the times we are with this pandemic. Um, we're dealing with a lot. It can be stressful. It can be sometimes um, just don't. Yeah. Just don't. Yeah. Be safe, be well. Be well and keep God in it. And God always brings you through. One way or another. I don't care where you're at. You can be in school, you can be in jail, mm. you can be um, in both feet in the Lord and so forth. Um, anywhere, as my mom said, anywhere, but stand still and represent yourself. Guys, thank you so much for taking this journey with me. I hope that you remain safe blessed and there is more to come for life after her with Nicole and Sweeney. Stay tuned. Bye guys.